Yeah, Vanessa buff seems pretty nice. You would kind of need some unit after it with some good setup kind of stuff, and you can only remove one debuff and not all, but I feel like the Vanessa buff is pretty nice. Five star only? No, it's a uh, special league without uh, LD units. Oh wow, well, that didn't push back a single time. I don't think it really matters. I'm not sure if that is your most interesting strip you could have done. Okay, apparently I'm not really landing my ship, but I am proking. That is pretty strong right now. That is actually legitimately pretty strong. Your only, yeah, Ongri got nerfed too hard. Like, I've seen some damage, um, like, before and after damage from what people showed, and it's like, yo, that's... He needed a nerf, but not that much. Like, not at all. When I expected it to be nerfed, I expected it, like, what, 10% damage down? Like, the normal stuff they do with, like, 8% damage up, that kind of nonsense. But straight up, like, 30% damage down, that's a lot, man. That is hell a lot. Yeah, I did change a few runes here and there. This one is a higher set right now. Do you have some? Yeah, no, I don't. What's the rule again? Uh, no net fives. Or uh, wait, no net fives. Uh, no LDs. We got zero LDs up in the building. More better first pick than Oliver. I kind of got bored of Oliver, like, not gonna lie. Like, probably Oliver's still good in here, but... I actually kind of got bored of him. Most free-to-play special league ever. You would say, but I'm not sure if free-to-play players are going to do super good in this because it's still kind of rune-heavy. And then people are going to complain, I don't have the Oliver, I don't have the more, I don't have the, the, the whatever else unit they don't have. But is this most free-to-play style? I don't know. Like I guess four-star special league is the most free-to-play special league you can get. Like sure, there's some four-stars very, like four-star LDs very good, like Tablo and stuff. But I feel like 4-star league would still be more free-to-play friendly. That part is actually pretty nice. Hmm. Doesn't stun anyone though. As long as this thing doesn't proc out, I'm good to go. Like, whatever this bombs, I don't really mind. Mm, rather have you proccing than that thing proccing. Okay, that is kind of annoying because that removes that as well. Okay, I guess everyone is proccing. Uh, yep. Yeah, everyone is proccing. Holy shit. <laughs> double resistance. <laughs> Wait, didn't I put a lot of accuracy on you to not get double resistance? <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, but it is for sure not 22%. Like, I, I think it's a lot of things, but 22% is not one of them. <laughs> oh man, this is absolutely so far off from 22%. Not gonna lie, holy shit. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Rock again. Uh, I think we're close to 50% proc rate. Fire Panda damage. Wait, his damage was upped on D boss, right? I forgot about like, did he actually do damage? No, I didn't really do too much, right? My Nessa not a crit damage is crit rate. But she does have a good amount of accuracy that she <laughs> shouldn't do double resistance. <laughs> She has 55 plus another 17. That should be good enough to actually land your shit, right? Mm, pure vanilla should be both good against all of them. Wind Robo, right? I'm not sure. I feel like the unit doesn't do enough by the S1 and the S2. 
Any new buffs tested yet? Um, I'm kind of testing Vanessa, more or less. Other things... Not really. I feel like not too many other things are buffed in the first place, so... See a lot of Fire Monkeys and Sonyas right now, from judging from best replays. Yeah, I think Fire Monkey might be decent. Um, yeah, this pair of Revenge is probably best. It's most RNG. People say Monkey is good after patch now, is he? Hmm, she still kind of has issue stripping everything, or he still has issue stripping everything, it seems. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I guess with like some more setup kind of thing, that I can feel that being pretty strong. Not sure what we're doing over here, but it feels like everything except 22%. Yeah, Vanessa buff seems pretty nice. You would kind of need some unit after it with some good setup kind of stuff, and you can only remove one debuff and not all, but I feel like the Vanessa buff is pretty nice. Hmm, we're going for a clean. Okay, leaving, sir. Wait, who are my fast units right now? I kind of lowered all of my fast units a little bit. <laughs> hmm. Well, this is always good against Cleave, though. Lucian and whom? Odin! Ah, Odin, Odin, Odin. I haven't seen that in a while. I guess that kind of works as well. Hmm. Hmm, I'm not sure how much this Lucian would do if I just simply do this. Wait, this is his only speed lead though. But I'm not sure if that's good enough. I could also remove this. Because then he might not have attack buff. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Isn't Julie just more damage? No, Lucian is more damage, I guess. And it depends on how much defense the enemy has. And Darius? Oh, could have worked, could have worked. But last pick was ba banned in the end anyway, so... Okay, how much attack buff do you get, sir? You get both attack buff. Wait, does he always give attack buff right now? Or is that something new? Wait, why did Abelio not get turn up? Mm, I thought he would get turn up. Well, I have pretty good odds that I would one shot this. He does still get like a full stack, blah blah blah, whatever, but... Why did Abelio not get a turn though? That's that's the part that I think is weird. Ah, uh, no stunner. Well, I guess he kills. I guess he doesn't kill. No, oh, okay. Are we staying this farm again? Hmm, wait, does my Abelio even move before that? I don't think so. Oh, now you're screwed. Don't move the front. Yeah, I guess he uh, he dies, then he doesn't get the 